But I've, st I've still actually got a tag that I did with a green hairspray. You know, you fucking used to spray your hair back in the yeah. 90s. A green hairspray, yeah, you know, right from fucking some, I think it was like W.A. Smith or something, some shot like that back then. And it's still on a shutter and fucking some seaside town in Swanage. <laughs> 99, I did it. It's still there today. Wait, fucking wait, what, you mean like the hairspray cap? No, no, just actual hairspray. You know, you get the coloured hair. You can yeah. spray your hair different colours and stuff. Yeah. Like, it was that type of paint. And I no. did a fucking reach on a shot, and, and it's, it's still there now. Yo, I don't want that shit that in my 99. hair. <laughs> like, think of all the chemicals you used to put on your fucking head, mate. When it stays <laughs> on a wall. That's some fucked up shit. Killer, killer, podcast. KillerKellerOfficial.com You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller podcast, live and direct, central London or central as you need to be, choose if you want to be. Hold tight, pirate.com, 24 7 music, podcasts, and dance studios all across the UK. We really out here doing it. And if you don't know about it, get the television app, 24 7 street culture business, you know what I mean? Mixes, podcasts, mini docs, you name it, it's out there, it's on there. Free download, iPhone, Android. Times are changing. The world is moving fast. And in a life of many lives, graffiti just keeps on bringing out the dons and having them sit around here. About two years ago, we had this gentleman on and uh, he's come back to replenish his duty as uh, a figurehead of the South Coast and beyond. But uh, more so, it's good to have him back again. Big yeah. up loser inside the place. Safe as fuck, bro. <laughs> <He's right. laughs> How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, man, all good. Yeah, what do you know? Yeah, a lot better than last time, yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, and in fairness, that's what we kind of, we wanted to talk about, didn't we? Because there's clearly been a lot of water under the bridge. Yeah, man. You know, and uh, you were a, in a different place. Bit of a dark place last time. <laughs> talk to me about that dark place. Talk to me about where you, where you were. Ah, uh, well, obviously... Lost my family and that, just yeah, just load of bullshit with that. But um, but yeah, got a new little one and that now. Mm. Back to see him, I have a little one, so mm. it's all good. What do you uh, just getting this overdone with? Really, you're just airing some uh, uh, thoughts out. What uh, what do you think when you saw when you see now the previous podcast with you compared to now? What do you what do you think when you see it? I was in a fucking state. Really? <laughs> yeah, bad time. Yeah. Don't know, man. Don't know. I don't really like watching it just because. The place I was in and that. So. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it, how history is it's embedded in a period of your life. I go through it all the time. I'm editing a podcast and I'm like, shit, you look drunk. You look hungover. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah, everyone it's... was saying how bitchy you look in the last one with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was just passive, bro. Like, you guys, as we can see, he comes with a, a pre prepared um, Tupperware. Oh, I've got my lunchbox, I've got lunch my medical box, stuff. Medicals, lunchbox, I mean, you know, it's business as usual still here, here at News OHQ, but, um, and big up C-Facts inside the place, old type my brother, yeah, we've got, we got old crew inside. Um, you seem to be the kind of character, News O, and this is through observations a couple of years on from our podcast, that you like to get about, you're very sociable. I mean, even when you came and sat down here, first thing you did was unpack like it was like yesterday. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm, if I see what well, I'm going to get... Anyway, how are you doing? You know, it's that kind of vibe. You make yourself comfortable, you make yourself at home, you yeah, roll with just, people. Just it's... live in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's that, all cool. where's that stem from? I just live in it. Just let people be who they want to be. Just yeah. do what you want. Yeah. As yeah. long as you're not being a dickhead and fucking someone over. It's yeah. all good, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You, just, do, you do roll with a lot people of different out. people. Just, yeah. You do roll with a lot of different people, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, all around the country. Got a few yeah. people. Yeah. How often do you, cause you, where you, where are you originally from? Where's, where's uh, this? Oh, originally I was born in South London and then I grew up in Brighton and I moved down to Dorset Ways and then I'm currently now living back there at the moment. You enjoying it? Yeah, it's all right. It's a bit boring. A bit like, boring? Yeah, it's just a bit long, isn't it? I moved down there because of 54 lot, in it, originally. Mm. That's why I moved to Bournemouth because, yeah, they were fucking up. Mm. thought there was a scene in Bournemouth. I moved there. It wasn't really a scene. But really? It got a little bit better. Yeah. But, yeah. Music started hitting, hitting, hitting. Yeah, panels, man. I just... 
Yeah. It's like the trains, isn't it? Yeah, you hit the panel. <laughs> I remember there was, a, I think it was like a ghost yard of some description that we did a mini doc with you, you know, doing, yeah, the, yeah. The, doing the 30 second piece or whatever it was. It was fucking great. How, how to paint a piece. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's some simple shit, but you know. If it you goes watched it, check it out. Check it out, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you don't know how to do a piece like me, then, you, <laughs> then it helps. Yeah. Um, it's quite simple. Easy, yeah. easy instructions. <laughs> yeah, get up basically. Um, so Bournemouth, I mean, big up the Bournemouth crew all the time. I've got a feeling there's going to be some people there that, that yeah, checking there's some out. pretty cool people down there. Yeah, yeah. Give, give some names because it's always nice to uh, get affiliated, and accustomed to some names, oh. new names on the podcast. Well, we've got Sumo down there. Yeah. Dome's down there at the moment. He's been mentioned on here a few yeah, times. Big up Dome's, yeah, bro. Robot, we got down there. Uh, who else have we got down Zoid. there at the moment? Yeah, Zoid's down there at the moment. And my mind's gone blank right now. Nessic. Yeah, Nessic. That's a lot of writers in Bournemouth. Yeah, there's a few. So how come you said they're not a scene? It sounds like a scene to me. Because we just fucking paint everywhere else, isn't it? Uh-huh. <laughs> Everything just gets buffed down there constantly. Like because it's so, it's so visible. Yeah, when something gets hit. Yeah, they're a bit weird down there. Like they're like all the arty farty shit. Like mm. all them like idiots going down there and doing their thing. And mm. yeah, we just don't get a look in on it. Mm. <laughs> You'd think there was a. Uh, We've got a few little tolerated spots that we made, though. Yeah, so. yeah, and then the cultural appropriation of it all. It's okay to do street art, but it's not okay to do raw, real graph. Yeah. Like, you know, you can't have it both yeah, ways. Yeah, they don't really like that. Yeah, yeah. How's that? Why is that? Why is that? I don't know. It's all the old people in it down there. It's a bit of a retirement place. Yeah. But then you've got all the uni students and that down there, so... Yeah, which like, kind of offsets the... Yeah, you get, a few, you get a few heads come popping through, do all their thing, and then fuck off again. But, but then again, the there's not really that many spots to hit there. Oh, there's some nice track sides on that, but there's a lot of old old pieces on there that people don't really want to take out as well. So it's like, yeah, really, you kind of leave the history there, isn't it? It's kind of nice though, but at the same time, things do. I always f- vibe off of graffiti's replenishment and just like constant evolution. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's like kind of things laying dormant there forever. It's nice to see a nice, you know, rare tag from the 80s or something. But when you've got like full body pieces that yeah. are just fading and no one wants to go over them, what? Is that what happens? Yeah, pretty much. Well, it used to get buffed all the time, but I've, I've, since I got arrested down there, like everything just stays. So really? It's just, yeah, it's just shit over shit, basically, at the moment. So you're more over getting getting your shit out and up? Yeah. Um, I've yeah. been focusing more on my characters and stuff lately, though. Yeah? That's what I've been on. Oh, yeah, and which reminds me, at this point, uh, if you're not watching and listening, I am holding up these... Uh, these are awesome. They're like Christmas card. Yeah, they're Christmas card uh, Muzo, Muzo um, pieces, which is fucking sick. Um, I'll try and get the angle right so it doesn't flash in the light. But yeah, I think I've got some fucking uh, fancy ones on that. Nice. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So you're in, you're in for a rate treat. Look at that. That's sick. Reindeer characters. and There you go. There it is. Uh, and inside, you know what I mean? This is proper stuff. This is... Uh, Good business, good business practice, creating Christmas cards. Sick. I've got a couple of um, couple of new designs that I'm going to be doing for this year. Yeah? Yeah, so there's going to be six on the pack in the new lot instead of four. So it'll be these four designs plus two extras. So there's four per pack, six pound? Yeah. Nice. And then I'm going to do six pack for eight pound. Six pack for eight pound? Yeah. Nice. Bro, it's fantastic. I think it's great. Entrepreneurial. And then here, um, again, for the for the... YouTube and Spotify heads, those are listening, you should dial in. Uh, the new black book. Well, that's the first black book. This is the first one? And then yeah. there's a new one being made, yeah, right? Yeah, the, the second one's going to come out soon. The second one's got about 100 pages, full colour shit. This is just sketches and just ideas, basically. Look at that. There you go. Let me try and angle this right. Look at that. That's the bollocks. Look at that. And your style, I love that computer computer rock you got retro. Kind of, yeah retro kind of gaming keeping style. it old school isn't it yeah there's there's a style to what what you bring to the, to the scene and I, it's hard to because i you're you're actually one of few that actually do it and it's a style that i remember very vividly when i used to frequent down the south coast you know because yeah. i'm you know my, my some of my family is still in worthing now um brighton hove southampton portsmouth bournemouth Dorset, like you're saying, these kind of areas, um, you, you you have a style that isn't London. It has influence, but it's definitely orbiting around 
That era of graffiti I know from the South. Yeah, it's that old school 90s sort of flavour. Yeah. And it's German influence as well. German influence. Yeah, I love the German styles, like Cantu and all of them lot. Like, yeah. the way they flex letters, their extensions and stuff, the colours they use, like, yeah. that's graph to me. Yeah, like, yeah. You really go in on the colours as well, don't you? Yeah, I love my colours. Yeah. How much do you reckon you... Yeah, not the decision you pay for paint, but like, how much how much do you use um, per piece? Fuck knows, man. I take quite a lot of paint with me all the time, and <laughs> really, it's a lot of paint, isn't it? Yeah, nowadays I just yeah. Since I've been doing characters and stuff, and we've done a lot more details and things. Mm. Yeah. Talk to me about the detail in the characters because I'm definitely I'm getting into that character zone myself, and I, I love. You can never do enough. That's the thing. It's like you walk away from peace thinking, yeah, that's that's that. Yeah, and then you look at it afterwards, you're like, yeah. And then sometimes I look at it, and maybe I shouldn't have done that bit. Like this piece I did at War Games, I did a Red Man portrait. And then before I did the outline over it, it looked really fucking good, like realistic yeah, and that. Yeah, yeah. Whacked the outline over it, and I was just like, nah, not really, not really happy with it, but yeah, it still looks all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's not just what you add, it's what you take away, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. Still fantastic. happy with the outcome, but yeah, I'll learn for next time, isn't it? Yeah, so. and I guess that goes back to my point about, you know, old walls, dead walls still being up with, you know, with pieces from, like, the the, the 80s and 90s. It's like, you don't, you've got to develop. Things have to develop. You've got to keep moving. Yeah, fully. That's what graph's about, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I also notice within your pieces with the characters is you really go in on the shadowing and shading. So for those of you that, that, that don't give it a second thought and that ain't into graph, there's a lot that goes into the... So you'd have, like, for instance, a colour blue. Yeah. Have the darker blue See, to use as a shadow. Someone shadow. who influenced me on that a little bit is that whole, whole graph. Uh -huh. He's fucking insane. I've seen him up at um, Bring the Paint once. The, the level of detail he goes on his characters are I've incredible. I've seen this guy's characters. Like, the bonkers. eyes and the, the creases and stuff that he does on the faces yeah. and that. Like, yeah, yeah incredible. Yeah. And then there's cute as well, like, with his B characters and stuff and the big guns and shit, man. Like, the way he does his... It's all of his shade and the stuff, man. I fucking love that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I grew up on Ren and Stimpy. Big up the Ren and Stimpy fans out there. Yes, yeah, so that's what I love, all the gaming stuff. Yeah. The details on the, the yeah. Ren and Stimpy when they do the close-up thing. Mm, it's like, yeah, oh, it's insane. Oh. I'm thinking about doing a Ren and Stimpy one. Yeah, that's uh, that would be sick. Just the way that they went in on the detail and those random moments. I mean, that's proper cult classic business, yeah. isn't it? Old school shirt. Do you remember um, Toast from the Porno Kids in Switzerland? Switzerland's a thing, too. We're talking about Switzerland, yeah? Oh, uh, I remember the porno kids, so... Yeah? There's this guy called Toast and his character. Just comment below if you, you remember the guy. Fucking sick. Characters... I'll have to have, I'll have, to have a look that up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, don't ring a bell at the moment. Yeah, it's... It, it, when we when we talk, think of characters nowadays, I mean, like you say, I, the aforementioned, but also people like Score. Yeah. Who just... Yeah, Score smack, is it? Seems to pull out Posseer as well, man. Posseer's yeah. actually helped me quite a lot with the character things, and it message him quite insane. a lot. And I'm like, what do you think of this? Or yeah. well, sometimes they message me and I'm like, yeah, maybe you should have done that with it or yeah. this with it. I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who are your go-to guys for inspiration or feedback? Who, who? So Posseer's oh, well, one with, with characters. Yeah, Posseer, man. I message him about characters a lot, and Zara as well. Yeah, Zara well, always because yeah, nice. old school flavour and that. Mm. Like, mm. What about what about lettering and piecing? Do you do you, do you have a do you have a sparring partner of People that give you. I normally message Nessic. Yeah, nice. Yeah, Nessic's normally the one to go to for that. Because I, I give him a lot of hassle for his shit. Really? <laughs> Never puts highlights on his things. Nessic, do your fucking highlights. <laughs> told, <laughs> told publicly. <laughs> Nessic, hold tight. Um, yeah, my, I mean, you know, I've, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Arrow, Pulse, and Baps, and. Um, and Mia, you know, I, I always like, send my sketches over. Like, what do you think of this? Nine times out of ten, they're like, nah, nah, keep going. <laughs> Hero's got some nice characters as well. The yeah. way he flexes his letters yeah. as well to go with the characters and that. Mm. He's got some ill stuff. People, and this is, again, through my learning as I go kind of thing, I definitely feel a sense of timekeeping yeah. when it comes to... You can do your piece, that's fucking long. Like Scribs, for instance. He's been doing like the same stuff constantly for years and it is banging. And Always it's, it's just timeless. Yeah. Like anything he does, it's just like, yeah, that's fucking sick. But it takes time. Right. It takes yeah. a lot of time to paint that to the to the liking that, you, that all the the acceptance of what you want to do. It's taken me like. like 20 years to get to the style I'm at now. And 
in a level that I feel kind of comfortable. And like, mm. I look at my pieces now, I'm like, yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah. Like, where a few years ago, I was like, yeah, nah, that's a bit out of place and that's out of place. And really? But now I'm like, yeah, I kind of like that. So where's so. the breakthrough happen for you where, where all of a sudden it's like night and day, isn't it? It's like, well, when was that? Yeah. When did that turn around? I don't know. Probably started, stopped giving less of a fuck of how clean everything should be and mm. how neat everything should be. Just mm. smash it on there and, yeah. Mm. But does that, that takes a level. <laughs> that takes a level of practice, anyway, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just constant doing it, isn't it? Fail, fail, fail. Yeah. Then don't care. Learn if you from fail. The, yeah, <laughs> learn from the mistakes. But I kind of like the scrappiness of pieces, like mm. the rawness of it. Mm. Like if it looks too clean, it's like it's too much like a sticker. Yeah, it? yeah, I know what you mean. And just going back to the character side of things, the realism stuff, it seems to be the money maker, particularly for brands and stuff. If you can do it, then great. Mm. But. I, I personally feel like it can be cl- almost pointless because it's too too tidy, too clean. It's not graph, really, is it? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I've been lately... When I'm doing my characters lately, I did a, um, a Joker piece the other day and uh, I just didn't do it as clean because I just wanted it to look, like, just raw, isn't it? Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't want it to look clean as fuck. And, mm-hmm. cause, yeah, it looks kind of nice sometimes and it's satisfying doing it, but mm-hmm. it's just the end look I prefer the scrappiness of things. Yeah, just so it shows that someone did it. Yeah, <laughs> basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? Because you can get anybody to print something off. And I like to see, like, I don't like to see cutbacks. I want to see a nice, clean line done where it's nice and straight. Mm. Sometimes That's satisfying can... to get. Doing a cutback's like, meh. That's not satisfying. <laughs> talk to, okay, no, no, talk to me about that. So for those that don't know what cutbacks is and shit you know explain explain what you mean by oh you just get the same color as your fill and you just like make your outline go sharper yeah. where you can do that with the can control yeah just flick it's yeah. all about the flicks and the pressure yeah i've seen someone do that big up dice actually dice yeah, dice heavy Hardman. yeah right. but i noticed he's actually using fat caps all the way yeah because you can get the pressure it's all about the pressure yeah like i can get some skinny lines with a fat cap because it's all pressure speed God, that's and distance, good. everything. Like, get a spray like that, you can get a nice clean line with a fat cap. I need to get into this. Um, Just orange dots, mate, are my go to for fat caps. Yeah, I've got some orange dots. Uh, w- w- when someone does a fat cap highlight and they go <laughs> quick on it, you know that they're on a level. They're oh, just Epic's like, the one for that, innit? Yeah, Birmingham big Epic. Up epic. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's heavy, bro. One. Heavy. Oh, the characters as well. Heavy. Serious. Like, you know what he kind his vibe kind of reminds me of vibe. He's he, yeah. his versatility. But you Heavy can see that well. Birmingham influence. When I met him as well, like he just started painting again, and mm. he stopped painting for about ten years or something. He said to me, mm. like if he'd carried on painting for that ten mm. years, just think of the level he'd be at now because he's on some serious shit. Serious level. Right. I put you in the same category as Epic. I think. For oh, I don't know, man. I think he's. <laughs> no, from a UK point of view, without question, I think to myself, well, it's that kind of, it's that well. Mm. rounded style you can do whatever you want on a piece and it, it just comes together yeah rare I feel yeah safe <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah I'll give you that that's it um, for those who haven't seen the last podcast where did it begin brother where did where did your journey in graph begin oh fucking here we go <laughs> oh, I've always been seeing shit like where my family was in London as well constantly going from Brighton to London seeing mm. all the high reaches and that like all the south line at Zombie and all the Cosa like them not just all the chrome and black in it, and then come down to Brighton, seeing all the fucking colour stuff. Yeah. Like, then I moved down to a dead end town. There was no graph there, mm-hmm. and I was just like itching. I just, nothing's there, so that got me doing it. Because beforehand, I was just doing little tags and shit here and there, just yeah. fucking about with my mates. And then, yeah, I think '99, summer of '99, I did my first field in dub. Did a black field, white outline with some car paint. You know the auto plan stuff. Yeah, the yellow tins with the blue label. Yeah, I know. <laughs> with the Ford Fiesta on the front of it. Yeah, you get get a little brush in the top of the front. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's for the OGs, and the lighter, lighter the colour, the water of the shit. It's like... But I've st- I've still actually got a tag that I did with a green hairspray. You know, you fucking used to spray your hair back in the nineties. Yeah. Green hairspray, yeah, rack from fucking some. I think it was like W H Smith or something, some shop like that back then. It's still on a shutter and fucking some sea sour town in Swanage. <laughs> 99, what? I did it. It's still there today. Wait, fucking, what, what, you mean like the hairspray cap? No, no, just actual hairspray. You know, you get the coloured hair. You can yeah. spray your hair different colours and stuff. Yeah. Like, it was that type of paint. And I Yo. did a fucking reach on a shutter and it's, it's still there now. Yo, I don't want that I did shit that in my 99. hair. <laughs> like, think of all the chemicals you used to put on your fucking head, mate. And it stays <laughs> on a wall. 
that's some fucked up shit. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Don't try using this shit at home, kids. So, yeah, obviously gas that's still there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gas, but at the same time, a little bit, little bit concerned. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, mate? <laughs> I'm going to have to shave your head off for that. Um, that's why everyone's probably a bit nuts that grew up with the 90s, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, I'll say this much, because I'm in total and utter agreement. Coming up from South the way I did, and seeing that transferal of colours, like, do you remember Dean? Yeah. Yeah, in Gatwick, he, he was just that whole Dean phenomenon. Was like, who's his fucking Dean? You know, that was kind of like the halfway house in my mind of like, all of a sudden you start going towards Hayward's Heath. You start going past the three bridges and the trains. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the colours are popping, you know, people like Nima and things like that. Yeah, Nima fucking killed it back in the day. And Nylon as well. Yeah, big time. Nylon absolutely smashed it. Yeah. Yeah, that was my one of my favourites from back in the day. Yeah, yeah. I think that, uh, Nima he's just got that next level style over. as well, like a gimmicky. I love the gimmicky sort of yeah, things, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put gimmicks in it. I'm gonna love that. <laughs> yeah, hundred um, percent. Yeah, Nima don't get enough shout. He's for me. He's like one of the kings. I ain't seen nothing of him in years. To no. be fair, but you know when you do because everyone fucking yeah. Everyone sees it. he's just he has a way. Legendary. He was in FHM or something, wasn't he? Do you remember? He was in a, he was in a proper... I don't know. I don't know if I've seen that. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. Like, he was in... I was a paper boy back in the day, and I remember seeing this, seeing this magazine he was in. It was either FHM or Esquire or some shit. Mm. Like, loaded. One of those men... Yeah, boy mags. And uh, I do remember seeing some sort of graph from one of them back in the day. But... Yeah. He had a whole article written about mm. two, two or three pages. He just had, like, a proper interview. Yeah, sick. It's a mad time. I might have to try and Google that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what it is, it? Name it. Come on. Um, so yeah, so there was a big influence of the South going on, wasn't there? Yeah. How? At what point were you uh, taking can and then, you know, getting? I don't know. Busy. I remember being in like year five, and we were fucking. We found a couple of bits of paint in one of my mates' dad's shed, mm. and we just went tagging with that. And yeah, that was probably like. I don't know, probably not 97, 98. Yo, you were mad young. Yeah, we was just little kids. Just influence seeing all the old lot doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and being little shits with ADHD. You're like, yeah, I want to fucking do that. Mm -hmm. right. mm. You always smoked weed? Yeah. Yeah, always? Pretty much, yeah. Started yeah. when I was about 12. And then by about 13, it's been like kind of daily. Because yeah. uh, it's quite a catchy thing, this weed thing. Gives you the sniffles. Uh, I, I'm always prepared when you come round to uh, uh, to uh, to be uh, setting up, setting shop up, and just uh, doing. You do, do, does it ever get too much for you? No, not really. I you love the edibles in the evening, though. That's the stuff that actually puts me out. Stop. Right. So, edibles as well as smoking. You, this is your daily, daily thing. Pretty much, yeah. Does it drive you mad? No. It drives me mad if I don't smoke. What happens if you don't smoke? <laughs> Oh, it's just ADHD, man. I don't focus. I'm just looking here, I'm looking there. Fucking just chatting absolute shit, not thinking about what I'm saying. Really? And then, yeah, not good driving when I'm not high as well. Really? Probably shouldn't say that on camera, but... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> what's that? What's the, show us some edibles. I'm I ain't got no edibles with me that? now. What's but that, then? This is some medical stuff. Ah, medicals. Medical edibles. Yeah, I get actually, I get prescribed. Oh, so this is doctor's business? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, you get subscribed Yeah, you weed? get prescribed weed in the UK now. See what's going on here, people? Crazy shit. May I? Yeah, man, you can get like, you can get edibles off of them, you can get oils, all sorts. Wow. I'm, I'm a believer. <laughs> fucking bonkers. But yeah, it's the medical cannabis clinic I've gone through. Yeah? If anyone wants to know. Know. Bit, uh, I actually got an email for them once around the whole COVID time and they said to me about um, people can get prescribed cannabis to battle COVID. Just so you know. What? <laughs> Hold on. So you can smoke, uh, or what, you take it as an edible? Well, yeah, they say that THC battles COVID, but I think it's just a way of people smoking weed, mate. Yeah, like yeah, they've yeah. got it in America. Oh, yeah, I've got glaucoma. Yeah, yeah have yeah, some yeah. weed. Have some cool. weed. Safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got a cough, have some weed. You know, yeah. It's like uh, the Vicks Vapor Rub, you know. <laughs> you fucking ill, get some Vicks Vapor Rub on you. <laughs> just the one, isn't it? Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and I feel like England, I don't think it's going to be in any hurry, especially with a Conservative government. No, they but... make too much money off of it at the moment. Like yeah. a lot of this stuff I get is growing in the UK. Like, where's this? This actually tells you where they're growing. Yeah, yeah. I don't this think one... we, should, we shouldn't really uh, well, broadcast that too much. Is... 
edit there. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I I just feel like it's going to follow. UK's going to follow in suit. It's in got like near enough the whole world's gone and done it. Yeah, it's pretty just. And a lot of places are doing it for recreational use as well as medical. Yeah. So you don't have to go in for with a bollocks excuse if you want medical. Yeah, yeah. Like um, but but it does beg the question: How much do you spend on on these these subsidiaries a day? 